This video is going to discuss the findings on the maxillary anterior teeth. If you have your blue box with your teeth in it, that will be very helpful for you to follow along with. The first tooth we'll look at is the maxillary central incisor. Picking out the maxillary central incisor is quite easy because the tooth is very wide, mesial distally, and flat across the facial surface. To tell the mesial from the distal on this tooth, let's take a look at the mesial. The mesial has a 90 degree angle. The distal surface on this tooth is much more curved. So do you know which tooth we're looking at? That's right, this is the maxillary right central incisor. It's also tooth number eight. Let's now take a look at the lingual surface of this tooth. Like all maxillary teeth, this tooth has a lot of anatomy. Here is the cingulum. Here is the lingual fossa. Here is the mesial marginal ridge. And here is the distal marginal ridge. Let's now take a look at the maxillary lateral incisor. The maxillary lateral incisor will have the same anatomical findings as those found on the maxillary central incisor. The tooth is just shaped a little differently. By holding the tooth by the root with the lingual surface towards you and the facial surface away, when you look down on the incisal, you'll see that the facial surface is very convex. Let's now go back to a facial view of this tooth. We now want to determine the mesial from the distal surface. The distal surface of this tooth is much more curved than the mesial surface. So, go ahead and take a look at this tooth. Can you tell me which tooth number this is? That's right, this is tooth number 10. This is the maxillary left lateral incisor. Let me show you one more thing before we go on to the canine. Look at the facial surface of this tooth. Do you see the indentations on the facial surface? These are the mesial facial and distal facial developmental grooves. We're now going to take a look at the last maxillary tooth. This will be the maxillary canine. One of the ways that we can identify a maxillary canine is by the shape of the crown. The shape of the crown is very blocky or snow cone-like. Another way to help identify maxillary canine is when you trace the outline of the roots going towards the CEJ. When you get to the CEJ, you'll notice that there are two hips or curves when it goes into the crown. To determine which tooth number this is, we need to determine the mesial versus the distal. You'll notice that both the mesial and the distal are curved. The distal is more curved on this tooth, but we'll look at another way to determine mesial from distal. Looking at the widest portion of this tooth, these being the contacts, you'll notice they sit at different heights. Keeping this in mind, the distal contact will sit lower or closer to the CEJ. So with all this in mind, and you know it's a maxillary canine, is it the right or the left? I'm hoping that you said that this is the maxillary left canine and not the right, so therefore it would be tooth number 11. I'm hoping that this video helped clear up things a little for you. Remember, don't be afraid to turn the tooth around to a different view to see if you can find something that helps you identify it.